We 3D scanned this little elephant statue, adorable, worn, and looking like it came from a museum shop. I'm going to add real texture to the scan in Nomad Sculpt, and trust me, it's a lot easier than it looks. We had recently scanned this little elephant statue with the Creality Ferret Pro, and it didn't have as many details as we would like. So we're going to add them in Nomad Sculpt, and here's how you do it. Let's open Nomad Sculpt. So first, you're going to just import your file. In our case, it's our elephant, and as you can see, it is pretty plain. There is not a lot of texture on the skin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a texture. So we clicked on the stamp tool. Now we need to add a texture or what's called an alpha. We downloaded elephant skin from Canva that we could use because we have a Canva account. But if you don't have a Canva account, you wanna make sure you have the right to use the textures. So for instance, you could go to Wikipedia and grab something like, for instance, the elephant skin that is in the public domain or Creative Commons, but there are plenty of them out there you could purchase. Now, once we bring our texture in, you can see here it's at the bottom. And all we need to do now is go to our model and we could start stamping it on the model. Now, I like to turn the intensity down because sometimes the texture is way too... Uh, heavy for what you're doing but that's all a matter of preference and now you can see here we're just stamping it all over the elephant and it's making the wrinkles in its skin the other way to do this is to use the brush tool and you can see we already have our alpha there which shows our elephant skin now you can adjust things such as the fall off you can make it pointier sharper more flat you can also adjust other settings that may work better for your design or your model in order to add texture. And we're going to start laying the texture over our model. Our model looks pretty good, but it is still missing some details. So we're just going to go in there and we're going to clean it up. We're going to add some more lines. We're going to make the eyes a little bit more defined. We're going to add some uh, definition around the tusk. We're not doing a crazy amount of detail. But we just needed to add some of those details in before we export this model. Now let's get it printed. And as you can see, the model has much more texture than the original 3D scan. And there you go. The little elephant's got wrinkles in the right places. It's got texture, character, and way more personality than the original 3D scan.